Now that we've learned a bit what vision mixing is, let's take a look at what a TriCaster is. So the TriCaster is kind of the heart of the production. We're going to take all of our input sources into it, use it to combine the signals together in the way we need, and then output it back out to our destinations. So just as a simple example, here we can see our TriCaster. We could bring sources like video cameras into the system. Those will connect up and that will be how we get live video into our production. We can also bring a computer desktop in as a video source. So if you had a PowerPoint or a website or an application or a game that you wanted to include in your production that was on a computer, that could be a source. We can also bring sources from IP signals over the internet into the TriCaster. This includes SRT, but other formats that could be used in our production. Now it doesn't have to be just live sources. We can also load pre-recorded media into the TriCaster. This could be standard video clips, graphics, audio files. They could be loaded into the storage of your TriCaster system and played during your production when needed. Now, once you've got all this stuff coming in, we need to control it. This can be done using a keyboard or a mouse, or if you have a control surface that can be connected in. And then this would be how you're gonna choose the different sources you want, interact with the different layers and make whatever adjustments are necessary to get the final output that you're looking for. And then when it comes to creating that output, TriCaster can create multiple types of output simultaneously. So you can get a live output, so if you had a monitor or a TV or a projector that you wanted to send a signal to, that could be an output. You can also record as a file so that if you wanted to go for editing afterwards, or maybe you need a file for archiving, you can do that as well with your TriCaster. And then we can stream to all sorts of destinations, Facebook, YouTube, SRT outputs, it also does RTMP, so virtually any streaming destination can be selected and TriCaster will be able to stream to it. Now there are many different model TriCaster systems. There are rack mount models, there are desktop models, there's even TriCasters that run in the cloud. And there's different control surfaces that you can get for your TriCasters as well. Now this is an introductory course on how to use a TriCaster. So we're gonna be looking at the core functionality that's available on all different TriCaster models. And we'll be looking at the different control surfaces as well. You're gonna learn the kind of things that you need to know to drive the core functionality of that product. Now that being said, there are gonna be some differences. It's probably not gonna affect us so much in this class, but I just wanna point out some of these differences. So if you see them, you understand why it might look a little different on your system versus what's shown in this course's videos. Different TriCaster systems will have different numbers of inputs. So you can have ones anywhere from four inputs on the low end up to 44 inputs on the high end. And as you can see with different numbers of inputs in between. It also will determine the maximum video resolutions that that TriCaster can work with. Some can only go up to HD, some can go all the way up to 4K UHD. It also might determine how many media player types you have. Some systems will have more DDRs, while some systems will have some graphics players. How many downstream keyers are available on your TriCaster model? How many video outputs will you be able to set up? Lower end TriCasters might only have two video outputs going all the way up to eight on high end systems. How many mix effects buses are available? How many audio channels you can work with in the audio mixer? TriCaster mini systems will work with stereo audio, but when you get to higher model TriCasters, you can do multi-channel audio for multiple languages or surround sound type workflows. How many Audio mixes can you generate simultaneously from the system for creating mix minuses or alternate languages. And then there are gonna be some software feature differences as well. 